Today we're searching for the elusive Pokemon, Lugia. So in order to find Lugia, we need to make our way through Hyogo Prefecture onto a small island called Awaji via this bridge. All right, remember that bridge because that bridge is gonna be on one of the lids later. On this island lies three Poke Lids, one of which is Lugia and an anime theme park. But first, it's lunchtime. That's a pizza. That's little fishies on top of pizza. Should I get that? Step one, eat lunch. Got myself some pancakes here. Pancakes in Japan are supposedly dessert, but I don't know why they think that. It's breakfast to me. Has their famous biwa, which is, I thought it was an orange. No, it's not. It tastes like a peach. We are leaving. Time to go in our car. I think I'm like the size of the car. Ooh, someone opened the door. Can you even drive a stick? Oh, you can't, okay. Well, there's mustaches on there. It's the map of where we are and what we're gonna be doing. So we are at Mile, the garden. We drove by Hello Kitty, so maybe we'll see that. It's a huge cafe with a Hello Kitty design. We wanna go here to Nijigen no Mori because that is where you can find all the anime items like a huge Godzilla and Dragon Quest along with Naruto so we're gonna check this out. This is where Luhia is supposed to be so we should go here eventually. There's a bus with Hello Kitty on it. From the lunch spot, a simple short drive would bring me to a small garden. We're gonna look for the garden lid. I don't know why it's beeping, get out! Ah! First of all, there's this heart right here. It's for people to take a photo to share their love of Awaji City. No, I don't know. What is it for? Wow, look! You can stand here and it looks like north is this way. I literally don't know what this has to do with the heart, actually. Anyways, let's go to the pyramids. So, uh, <laughs> we have pyramids here. Looks like they're made of rocks. I don't know what the pyramids stand for, but they look cool. And then we got our first lid. Which I need to get this Pokemon in the game actually, so I'm gonna have to evolve that. And uh, we got bay leaf here, and look at, see, they have a bunch of flowers. It's a flower field, because I guess this area, maybe not here, but Awaji is famous for flowers. I see pyramids here. So, not quite what the lid shows, but yet again, we got to our lid, our first one. Look at this, Awaji. Spritzy is evolving right now as we speak, so we can take this AR photo. That's all it's for. That's all we're doing this for. Bam. So now, Aromatisse, I get a Poke Lid gift for you guys. Ready? Boom! Another gift. So apparently, this place is the memorial of the earthquake. There was a big earthquake in Kobe back in 1995. January 17, 1995. And so there's a memorial, and that's where we are. So apparently, this lid is nearby the memorial. Maybe that's why they put the lid here, for us to go to the memorial. Should we go to the memorial? If you come here for the lid, there is a place to eat a little bit, a small shop right here. Maybe we'll go inside. I see some beer inside. Uh, you can take a photo with that. And I think this right here is the memorial as we were speaking of earlier, which it says Nojima Fault was preserved as it was. Oh, so you can see it. And there's an earthquake experience hall. Bam! and a memorial house. Oh my God, that's just someone's house. That's sort of sad. The house which survived sever earthquake was preserved as a strong house against earthquake. That is a weird sentence. Earthquake simulation. You can experience two types of earthquakes. I don't know what types of earthquakes there are, but there, apparently there's two. Cost 700 yen to go inside. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go inside because we have to go to our anime park and we want to make sure we have enough time for that, so we're gonna go inside the little Hokudan, the food place. Maybe we should get Biwa ice cream. Oh, there's a cow! A waji beer. Onion chips. Look at it, it looks like it's gonna melt immediately outside. It's really good, actually. I don't know what Biwa's supposed to taste like, even though I had Biwa in my pancakes. It's not like super orangey, but it's super flavorful. It's nice, it's refreshing and uh, melting really quickly. Oh my god, it's oh my melting! God. <laughs> From there, I stopped by a couple of artistic murals, like this Snoopy part. That you can get on the Snoopy bus right here. Apparently, there's a little place for kids or anyone for that fact to sit inside. Here, I'll give you guys a view of what it looks like. Can I sit? Ugh. And then I pull my head. Ugh. And I'm in the bus. The doctor is in. Oh, it's the door. That's cool. Nope, the bike is my favorite part of this. I really think the bike has a pretty clean touch to it. I can ride that. And this Demon Slayer wall. Make it to the lid. 
found a wall instead that if anyone's a uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba fan, this wall is pretty legit. How far back do we need to go to get everybody? I don't know any of the characters. If you know the characters, leave in the comments below, but this is a pretty nifty wall. Looks legit. And it's just in a construction site. People just working here. There's uh, cranes in the back, trucks in the back. Really cool wall. I drove further into the island to find some souvenirs and the second lid on the island. Oh, there's a bunch of old people. And Pates Mate. There's a kids park. Do you think the lid's next to the kids park? If I go through here, next to all these big old machines that pump out that hot air, I should be able to turn right. And I'm probably going the wrong way. I see the lid. Now the question is, oh, how do you, wow, what is this place? It's nice, relaxing, and hot. You got a view of the ocean. You have your lid. So this lid right here has Cloyster on it, and you have Gastrodon, and I thought it was the other Gastrodon, the blue one, but it looks like it's just the shadow. Remember that bridge that we were crossing earlier? It's right there at the top, as you can see. Cool lid. Our second one of the day, Cloyster, I didn't know was so blue. So that's actually new for me. I always thought of it as a purple. Before we leave though, check these flowers out. Something tells me these flowers right here were the ones that were on the other lid if you saw earlier. Compare that right now. See these flowers? That lid. Bam, bam. What do you guys think? No? Yeah? I don't know. It feels like these are all in the wrong location. I feel like that flower one should have been here. I feel like this one should be a nearby the bridge. And I feel like the Luhia one, which we will get to, should be down, down super south next to the Naruto Whirlpools, as you'll see in the future why that's the case. Two lids down and one to go. Luhia is just so close. I can absolutely feel it. But before we find it, I need to check out the largest anime theme park in Japan that no one has ever heard of. I've made it to Nijigen no Mori. Behind me, there's a huge life-size Godzilla. Life-size if you believe in Godzilla, but I mean, it's huge and what you can do here actually is you can zip line from that side all the way into its mouth dragon quest i paid to go inside and do the items in there so that's what i'm doing right now we have cool things like this here king slime as well as all these other locations and you have a chance to go through a quest and try to complete it within two hours or so uh, and then you get a prize at the end so we're trying to get that prize right now I won't show you any spoilers. If you want to see a full video of a little more detail, check out my main channel. You'll see it. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. You can go to that after this video. But yeah, in the meantime, here, check a montage of what you can see here in terms of the outside. No story spoilers anyways. I'm going through. <laughs> we got the slime here. That's a quick battle sign. I only had 25 health. I'm going to go down the stairs then. Ah. Ooh, we got the triple slime here. This was one of the cool ones we had in the beginning of the Dragon Quest games. So it's like you're playing the video game actually. You get to do these things and then you get to also battle by using these chips right here. Metal slime. One of the biggest ones I've seen. It's bigger than me, that sword. It's so realistic here. I found five of those coins. Six of six. It's time to go to the castle, they say. Haha. Guess we can now go into this castle. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's time to finish this video off and find that Luhia. All right, it's time to, for us to find Luhia, the last one. And on the lid, I do know there are little whirlpools, and I think that's in relation to the Naruto whirlpools. Let's find this lid, shall we? Onions are famous here. Delicious Awashima kitchen onion flour. Looks like fried onions. They tell you where it is. They say the lid is basically behind you. It's over there. So apparently they're famous for onions, huh? Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Hello. So you remember that lid that had the bridge? I think this is that bridge right here. Stone pots just sitting here. You think these are onions? These are not onions. The lid is right up here. Finally able to complete our challenge. We found Luhia with the whirlpools, like I said. See, I told you there were whirlpools here. Look at this majestic Pokemon in the cloudy skies and in the ocean. Awesome looking lid. Look at this view. Look at that yellow car. Luhia here 
with the viewpoint of the bridge. That's our last view of Luhia. We found the lid. Actually, might as well spin the Pokestop to give you guys some gift. Got this, see that? Can you see that? We're gonna spin that stop right now. It's been a great day. We saw three lids today. We got to experience a really cool anime park. I, something I didn't even know existed. Great time. Hopefully you guys have a chance to come out here sometime in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel. We have more lids coming up. We have more adventures coming up. And we're going to be traveling all across Japan. So subscribe. I'll see you guys.